So number 207. It says a rectangular table for the dining room has a surface area of 24 square feet. The length is two more feet than twice the width of the table. Find the length and width of the table. Okay, so we know the surface area, 24. Um, I'm gonna just start writing these things down and then we'll go to the, go to the paper here. So I'm gonna write down on the paper that we know that the area is 24. Uh, the length is two more feet than twice the width. Think about what equation that gives us between the length and the width. And then um, find the length and the width. Okay, so the, the two variables that we want to introduce in this problem are the ones they want us to solve for. That's usually what you want to do. So they want us to find length and width, so I'm gonna, we're going to be looking at the variables L and W. Now, what does this sentence mean here? The length is two more than, two feet, sorry, is, is two more feet than, so that means I'm going to add two, so the length is equal to two plus twice the width. Well, that means two times w, okay? So let's go down to the sheet. I've written some of this stuff down. The area is 24. The length is two more than twice the width. So that's what we have. So, okay. Now, area, how does that relate to length and width? Well, if you have a rectangle, um, the area is equal to length times width. So we multiply these. Okay. So we really have two equations here for length and width. Here we have length times width equals 24. And here we have length equals 2 plus 2w. Two so I think we can um, probably put these two equations together. Right? If L equals 2 plus 2w, that means I can replace L with 2 plus 2w up there. So if I take this equation down, 24 equals, instead of L, I'm going to put 2 plus 2w. And then what was L being multiplied by? W. So that W is still down here. So I just kind of substituted that stuff in place of L, because they're equal, so I can do that. If two things are equal, you can just substitute one for the other. And now I've got this equation. And this is, this is great, because this is a polynomial equation, and I know how to solve those. If I can get it into the standard form that we were working with before, I can, I can work with this. So I can do that by distributing. So if I distribute the W across, I get 2 times W is 2W. And then 2w times w is 2w squared. OK. Um, right away, I can see that everything is divisible by 2. So let's just divide through by 2. Divide everything by 2. If you can do that, that's, that's fantastic. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2w divided by 2 is w. 2w squared divided by 2 is just w squared. That's not always going to happen, but that's nice. It did happen to happen that everything was divisible by 2, so let's just divide it. And it's a polynomial, so what I want to do is get it equal to 0. Right? So uh, I'm going to subtract. Let me, let me write this so that it's w squared plus w instead of w plus w squared. And then I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. All right, so I'm going to have w squared plus w minus 12. That's what this is. This thing here is just this thing here. And then what is that equal to? Well, 12 minus 12 is 0. So all that's equal to 0. So I've just kind of rewritten this in a, in a different way. Now, solving this, there's, we've learned lots of ways to solve a polynomial equation. But I think the easiest way for this one would be to factor. 
think this is quite easy to factor. I'm looking for two factors of negative 12 that add to one. Negative 12 that add to one. So how about positive four and negative three? Okay, there we go. So I can see the two answers. Uh, the thing that makes this a zero is w equals negative four. And the thing that makes this zero is w equals three. Now, because this is a, a, a word problem, it, it reflects a real life situation, I, I should ask myself, which of these makes sense? Well, this is the width of a rectangle, right? So it can't be negative because this is a real world problem and it, W represents widths, can't be negative, so I exclude this. This is called a, um, an erroneous solution right? or, an, or extraneous solution, sometimes they call it. Extraneous, it's, extraneous means extra, right? Extraneous, it comes from the mathematics, but it doesn't really have to do with the problem. It doesn't have to do with this actual solution, so we ignore it. So we know that w equals three. Um, we still need to find L. So let's look back up at our equations, and there's actually two equations. We could use this one to find L, or this one is already solved for L, so let's use that one. L equals two plus two w. And w, equals three, so L equals two plus two times three. Well, two times three is six. Add two to it, we get eight. So the, um, the width is three feet, and the length is eight. 